Hey guys, today I'm going to react to my reaction to California's biggest earthquake in 20 years, which happened to hit while I was right in the middle of performing my weekly stand-up comedy show. The main thing that audience members told me after the show was, Josh, you seem so calm during this earthquake, which was kind of funny to hear because inside I was completely panicking. I thought we definitely were all about to die. But that's basically the normal baseline feeling of performing stand-up comedy. Like you always think, oh, this joke might not work and the ceiling will fall and I will die. I like having panic attacks and like, what if they hate it? I'm definitely a lot more nervous. Which side note is completely healthy. Like if you are at least a little bit nervous before you step on stage and take a whole bunch of time from other people's lives, then you're probably a psychopath, sociopath, I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist. It seems healthy to be like at least a little bit nervous. So I kind of think a basic requirement of being an effective comic or performer of any kind is being able to hide that fear at all times. Fortunately, I was recording the show when the earthquake happened. Let's take a look at the difference between how I felt inside and my weirdly robotically calm demeanor on the outside. Who's single here? Anyone single here? Okay, so this is right before the earthquake hit. In fact, right now you can already start to see the walls shaking. Uh, wait, what's your name? Danielle. So I have these images that are projected onto the walls and they're already starting to shake. Here you can hear people uh, starting to yell. I mean, I don't, do you guys feel? You really? Here you can see, I don't believe, I don't believe that the earthquake is no, real. I know this is shaking. I think the audience is like gaslighting me. The ground is shaking? Oh, sh you're right. I don't usually swear on shows. Whoa. Here's where I start to get scared. What's that? And I'm just like, oh. Yeah, it's my fault. I'll just chit chat with the audience. Yeah, it's pretty big, huh? That's the voice I use when I'm terrified. Like in this moment, I am panicking. Like I'm thinking we're all about to die. You guys are welcome to leave if you prefer. People yelled the weirdest stuff. Someone just yelled, it's a figment of your imagination. I, don't, I guess that's how they deal with their fear of death. Yeah. You guys would not believe how expensive it was to install these hydraulics. So at this point I've realized the earthquake is over. Below the theater, yeah. We need to move back into the show. Spent a lot of money on this effect. And to be able to do that, uh, obviously you have to make some kind of joke so we can move on. You can see the walls are still shaking just a little bit here. Yeah, thank you, incredibly unhelpful audience member. Don't calm down yet. The aftershock is coming in 15 minutes. I'm going to keep going. You guys are welcome to leave if you don't feel comfortable. But, uh... <laughs> Some I'm just going to keep plowing forward. As I say, the show goes on. Anyway, Daniela, it's been a while. I assume you're still single since before the earthquake. You didn't start dating the guy beside you or anything. It wasn't like, there's an earthquake, what do you think? I'm single, I don't know. So one thing that we've learned about me is that when I think I'm about to die, I apparently get very thirsty. Like I'm chugging so much water in this video right now, like as if, as if I'm, if I get hydrated enough, maybe that will save me from the earthquake. I mean, after an earthquake, there's gonna be some kind of post-apocalyptic scenario, and if I know anything about post-apocalypticness, which I do from reading YA novels, I know that water is gonna become very scarce. Possibly my favorite thing in this whole video is these people who stand up to leave and they walk down the aisle and then they stop at the end of the aisle you guys are welcome to leave if you prefer. Because to exit the theater, they would have to walk in front of the rest of the crowd, thus blocking their view. These people are so polite, like they would rather die than be rude. They must be British. I've lived in California for three years, but this is the first earthquake that I've actually really felt, and it is a very disconcerting experience. Like as human beings, what do we take for granted more in terms of the solidity of the foundation of our lives than literally the ground. The ground is shaking. I'm like, what is consciousness? In our minds made up of uh, protons, neutrons, and a in the middle of this vast universe. This is the kind of things that I think when I'm having a panic attack. I start thinking uh, about particle physics, and then I swing the other way, and I think about astrophysics, uh, and then I try to find a Xanax. This was actually the one year anniversary of opening night of the show. Like, Ashley even had a cake made and like brought it out at the end of the show. Uh, you can see. Oh, sorry. Almost lost it. The main lesson is maybe I am a sociopath after all because this apparently is the face that I make when I think everyone is about to die. Yeah, that's, that's my pure terror face right there. That's 
Uh, wow. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed because I definitely intend to record the next earthquake of this size, which statistically will be 20 years from now, and post another reaction video to make sure you turn that notification bell on so you get a reminder because uh, it will be in the year 2039. We should hang out sometime.